Okay, so this is going to be a demo on creating a bouncing ball and drawn frame by frame. And the first thing I'm going to do is start renaming my layers and creating some things that I'm going to need for this. So first is my ground line and I'm just going to draw use the line tool and draw a straight line across the bottom of the screen. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a guideline for the bouncing ball um, I'm going to be animating. So my guideline will look something like this. Uh, I'm going to start off screen and just sort of draw in how my ball will bounce. Okay. And then I'm going to just include some hash marks of approximately where each frame will be. So I know at the top it'll be moving a little bit slower. So I'll have these be a little bit slower and slowly extend further and further out as the ball begins to drop. And then here I'll have a few more because I'm going to include a squash and stretch. And it will start to become something like this. And yours should look something similar. And this is just to sort of give me an idea of where my keyframes will be drawn in. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and begin to animate. Okay. And this will be bouncing ball. This will be my bouncing ball layer. And the other thing I can do is I can, if I hit Command Return, you'll notice in my Swift file the blue line is there. However, I won't want that to be the case when I start to animate it and check it. So I can just right click on my guide layer and change it to a guide. And now when I hit Command Return or Control Enter on a Windows PC, um, you'll see that it is no longer there, at least in the exported version, but it will be in the file itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to start by drawing my first frame. Oh, I'm going to use black. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit F7. And the other thing I'm going to do is, now that I can't see my previous frame, is down here I'm going to click my onion skin button. And you'll see that I can see the previous frame from before. So now I'm going to continue going ahead, and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut F7 to insert blank keyframe. And... Sort of following my guides as needed. I want to start to stretch here. And I'm going to start to squash it as well. I'm going to do this over a couple frames. Doesn't you can do it in you know one or two or three frames, and I'm just going to sort of start to make it a little bit extra squishy and squashy. And maybe even one more just for fun. All right, and then I'll have it start to bounce back.
And if you need to see previ more previous frames with these brackets in the timeline, you can simply just go ahead and slide it over and you can start to begin to see more and more frames. When I need it to start to become a little bit more rounder in shape, have it squash back up or uh, stretch back up. And now I'll have it start to become more of a standard shape, closer to the original ball I was drawing. And then it'll slow down around this arc. And then speed up as it goes back down. And I'll have it start to stretch. Now I'll have it start to squash. And one more. Give it that extra squishy look. And now I'll have it start to bounce back up. And stretch back out. And now it'll return to basically its standard form. And then it'll slow down around this arc. So let's go ahead and play it back, and you get the bouncing ball. Uh, that's really all there is to it for this tutorial. Um, so yeah, that's the hand by or frame by frame hand drawn keyframe animation for a bouncing ball with a squash and stretch. Thanks for watching.